From time to time, the musical press seems to create whole new batches of musical categories which seemingly exist to puzzle and bemuse their readers, setting up a whole new series of alternatives to identify with or not as the case may be. Well, one of the newest to emerge is New Wave Punk, although personally I didn't really know it had been a way. So here to suffer the slings and arrows and all that stuff is Mr Gary Bushell, features editor of Sounds, and two members of the Manchester band Blitz, who I'm told are the forerunners of the movement. Well, firstly, Gary, New Wave Punk, where did it come from? Was it your front room or somewhere, or where? No, I mean, everyone's saying about the music press creating trends, but I think for the last three years, <coughs> the music press has tried to destroy what punk was. They tried to say it had gone. In fact, it hadn't gone. I mean, uh, lots of bands all over the country were keeping it alive, like the UK subs, the Angelic Upstarts, uh, Cockney Rejects. And now the, um, the actual pressure's built up from the grassroots so much that people can't ignore what's happening. Right, I mean, how do you justify the supposed political involvement? I mean, I'm quoting you here, I have a quote right in front of me, which says, uh, the gutter press which indulges in scummy miscoverage. I mean, how can you justify the political involvement if that's happening? Well, there is, I mean, in, it is political with small p, because, I mean, you're talking about a, a whole generation of people where uh, a quarter of the population live under the poverty line. You're talking about uh, millions of people on the dole, and the people who form punk bands now tend to be those sort of people. So obviously they're against the establishment, obviously they're against unemployment. So that's the political element of it, yeah. Sure, okay, but uh, taking it as the, let's take it as, as the old wave of the 77 almost, um, I don't know if you'd agree with that, but politically then, uh, musically, how does this new wave differ from that? Is it all that different? Musically, uh, not all, I mean, it tends to be a lot harder, a lot faster, uh, but actual socially, it's actually, this new wave now is what the first wave pretended to be. I mean, the first wave was all art students pretending to be off the dole, and now this, this wave is people off the dole, not pretending at all, but telling the truth. Right, I got you, okay. If I may, may quote again, I've got some categories here, within the, the whole category of what we're talking about. Street socialist punk, anti-political herberts, um, which is a great one, a skunk rock, or a new punk, Nazi skinned redskins. Uh, now, and the Blitz have been described as the nabobs of Yobrock, which is a wonderful <laughs> phrase. Um, could one of you please describe Yobrock? No, that's his idea. Is that we don't know what it means. This is one of Mr. Bush's phrase, right? Yeah. Uh, Yobrock, but I don't know what nabobs so. Okay, <laughs> nabob, I believe. I mean, what, what category are you guys in? Uh, just a punk band, really. Uh, so, I mean, how do you regard the new wave of punk? Do you regard yourself as part of this? Yeah, yeah. of course I do, yeah. So, and and how, does that, how does that align with, with the old wave of 77? How are you different? Uh, a lot were working class, they were all middle class. That was all sort of big fashion thing then. Right. The fashion element sort of gone out of it now and it's more do it music. It's more what it should have been. Okay, I mean, out of that 77 wave, you had the blonde, Blondie and the Stranglers maybe, who <laughs> later went on to become, let's face it, top of the popsters. I yeah, mean, what's yeah. to prevent Blitz not doing that? What's going to stop you? We are going to stop it? Yeah, no. You we want to do it. top of pops? Yeah, of course we do. You would. Nothing against doing it. That's not against your morals or your principles or whatever. All them bands in '77, they said they didn't want to be rich. Right. And the next minute they were going around in limousines. Right. Sure. Well, anybody who says they don't want to be rich is either a liar or a bleeding idiot. Gotcha. Okay. Right. right. I, to, okay. I do want to be sorry, rich. Well, we'll go and stop at pops. Okay, well, that's fair enough. Right, gents, thanks very much. I'm sure this could go on for hours. Um, <laughs> Perhaps not. Many thanks indeed. <laughs> and over to you, Nicky.